So here's a little blog help for today for choosing your domain. A lot of us get caught up on trying to figure out what's the best domain for our blog. And I'm going to give you a little bit of advice here. And I'm going to tell you kind of what will work for you. A lot of time we get into network marketing and we're very excited about the company we're with. But you also have to remember that a lot of the times we jump companies. We change the network marketing company that we're with based on results, uh, whatever personality differences, whatever it is that's the, uh, that's the problem that we're having. So a lot of times I see a lot of my friends that have blogs that say are in the health and wellness industry. And, you know, maybe they're not in that anymore. But now they have a blog that they can't do anything with because all they ever talked about was the health and wellness. And maybe they developed into a better leader. Now they want to talk about online marketing. Maybe they want to talk about building their blog. And they're tied in to a key word that they can't seem to get away from. Now, I have done this myself. So I'm not saying that, you know, this isn't something I've done. I created a blog for metabolic family syndrome, a crazy one. I Not ever again would I do that. Um, also, I've created one for mentor and support. That one was okay. Didn't really... De- struggled a little bit with that one. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've come up with some crazy ones out there. And what I found that really, really works more than anything was to use my own name as my domain. And the reason I recommend this is that because you can change. You can evolve. You can change companies. You can mix things up on your blog. But people will always relate back to you. Because they want to find out more about who you are and what it is you're doing. So most of the time, network marketers get caught up in the idea of, oh, I want to represent my company. But what happens if that company goes under? What happens if you decide you don't want to be with them anymore? What happens five years down the road? So the idea is that you are building a blog around you and a community of people that you want to invite into that circle. So if you're choosing your domain name, see if your name is available first. Variations of it using the .NET, whatever it is. Because what you also have to remember is that 9 out of 10 times, It's going to be printed somewhere, whether it's a clickable link somewhere on the web, on a business card. It's not going to be hard for people to, you know, not remember it as long as it's sitting right there in front of them. Also, it looks really cool when you can do your email address as, you know, support dot or support at your name dot com or something cool like that. So that is my tidbit for choosing your domain. Don't get so hung up on your company as a network marketer as so much as you're building your own brand, your own personality. And that way, if anything should happen, not saying that it will, you have the ability to switch focus, change a quick link, and still move on with your business. So thanks guys for joining me here today. My name is Chef Katrina. I'm your blogging coach. And today is, and that is today's hot blogging tip. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.